All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a PPQ and 40 caliber. The Walther PPQ and 40 caliber is one of our favorite pistols. We've added the DPM multi spring recoil reduction system to it, and we're going to do a little shooting with it today and see how it feels. Now, just to put this in perspective, we just got done shooting the uh, Glock 23 Gen 4 right. with the DPM system. Right. So this is going to be a... I've already played with the trigger a little bit as we were walking it over here, and the trigger is so much lighter on this Walther PPQ compared to the Glock 23 and 40 caliber, but let's see how the recoil feels. Yep. Okay, it is a sniper's pistol. <laughs> this is what's going on with the Walther PPQ and 40 caliber compared to the Glock 23 and 40 caliber. Both of them run in the DPM systems guide rod. The Walther, and I think you'll be able to see this in the uh, video, guys. The Walther has a little bit more muzzle flip to it. Which it always has, though. Which it always has. Right. And again, I think it's attributed to a, a, a slightly higher bore axis here than the Glock 23. So if you like your 40 caliber to stay down a little more, I think the Glock 23 with the DPM systems is the way to go. It is an improvement in the recoil. This thing's not hurting your hand at all. Significant, right? Right, but you can feel that it's still, uh, the muzzle's coming up on the Walther. Like a traditional 40. Right, right. But the uh, felt recoil in the hand is less with the DPM systems. I've okay. complained about the recoil in this Walther PPQ without the DPM systems in it. I can already tell a difference and I have only gone through one magazine. So yep. just something to kind of note, if you like that Glock uh, 23, you want that recoil to come more straight back into your hand and not as much muzzle flip, then the Glock 23 is the way to go. If you like the Walther PPQ because of its superior trigger, which it is superior, and I'm hitting from 30 yards away every time I squeeze the trigger. So it's just a very accurate, uh, pistol and I think the trigger has a lot to do with it. So let's shoot her a little more with this DPM systems in it. Wow, this thing is so easy. Okay, so if you want less recoil, Think about the DPM systems. If you want a sniper's pistol, this thing's hitting the target every time. Now let's just cover real fast. This is the new serial number, you guys. If you remember what happened to the old gun, this is the new serial number provided by Walther. They did make it right. They had fantastic uh, customer service. It was a straight across exchange for our damaged Walther PPQ N40 for a brand new Walther PPQ N40. Yeah. So I got to give it to Walther Customer Service for stepping up and doing the right thing. I want to make sure that I mention that to the viewers and subscribers. They were when fantastic. A, when a company does the right thing, we want to talk about that. I'm sorry it took us so long to get back to this thing. It's been brand new and just sitting in the safe. We've been busy. So Walther Customer Service, big thumbs up. Yeah. And you guys, you know, if you guys haven't seen the video that we're talking about, we're talking about the O-Lite breaking off the uh, end of the frame here. And the O-Lite was secure. It was, <laughs> it was definitely because of the O-Lite, not because the frame is poorly made. I mean, this is a well-made gun. It's not because of the gun being inferior as far as the polymer that they're using. It's because of the way that the light clamps on as far as the little clamping mechanism to the frame. You know, I don't know if that particular gun just maybe didn't have the strongest polymer. I, I really don't care what broke the gun. And I'm just talking about this. The gun was still running, guys. Yeah. Just this bottom piece right where my fingers are at, it snapped off. The gun was still running, but Walther Customer Service did the right thing and replaced the entire gun. Free of charge. I think that's the big thing that I want to get across. So let's shoot this thing a little bit more and enjoy it. All right, guys, last magazine with the Walther PPQ and 40 with the... DPM system, multi-recoil reduction guide rod assembly. Haven't shot a PPQ in 40 since uh, 
we sent it back and uh, afterwards I actually ended up selling the new one to Beretta Senior just because I wanted to move on to bigger and better things like uh, building myself a uh, AR pistol left hand and that cost me about what fifteen hundred dollars in the end to yeah. do that so he's happy with this though and that's good to know uh, let's see what it feels like with the new guide rod assembly in it It definitely has less muzzle rise and it shoots fantastic. So this pistol has an ever so slightly less muzzle rise with this guy rod assembly and it definitely has less belt recoil into the hand. Don't you think, Brett Asir? Absolutely. So guys, if you are interested in this DPM Systems product, you can uh, check out the links below this video and that'll lead you right over to DPM Systems website. You can use our discount code B9USA to save 10% off your entire DPM Systems order. Thanks guys for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.